Hi guys, sorry I just started a bit late. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro 2013, I suppose, and I've I am just about to take it apart. I've literally started it, and I just realised that I need to make the video uh, for you know to help out others. So anyway, um, the back cover I took it off, um, which has got the um, pencil or uh, screws that you need to take it off, and you know. I use one of the you can see pencil of drivers anyway so you just take the back cover off by taking it the, the screws off and once you are at the uh, once you reveal the MacBook Pro uh, the first thing first you can see a warnings a warning sign in here uh, the first thing you would need to do is disconnect the battery to avoid any 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 sort of fuses or shorts or, or any sort of you know electric uh, fuses into man motherboard while you try to uh, apparently assemb disassemble the MacBook Pro. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is you know remove the. You'll slowly need to remove all all the connections that is on the board. So you know probably, which are here. I can show you. They're just simple. You can easily you know uh, flop them out. And as simple as that, this is uh, as you know. There are some screws on this on the top of the motherboard where, where it's pointed out. Um, that wherever you got these um, signs, you can see the screws. You need to take them out. So once everything is disconnected and out, so first of all, the reason I I'm taking this one out because it's um, giving a bit of problem uh, to the. So we take the fan out. I literally took these sort of just from the fan out, and the board chip is here. Now that what I notice here is, on the other side, you can see it's completely water damaged. Uh, you can right, right there, you can see, yeah, and that's what is causing the problem or a lot of problems. So that's where we can, we can, so far we can see. So it's all about the taking the screws out and then disconnecting all the flex and connection on the board and out the board. So, so you make sure you take every single bit that is connected to the motherboard. Um, I'm just going to take this one out as well. You know, to, to avoid any sort of uh, any any type of damages to the connections. So first thing first, you would have to take the um, battery, disconnect disconnect the battery at the first, very first step, once you reveal the motherboard. So that's the SSD card you can see here. Just going to put it aside and you can see it's really bad and it's really like in a, in a really critical condition. So just there's a screw underneath the motherboard, we reveal that one. And almost we're good to go. So the next thing we need to do is um, see around edges. There are some clicks. It just pop, pops out, you know. But it's just a matter of um, doing it to the right way, really. So I'm just okay. So you can see now. Let's think what is it that is stopping it. <clears throat> so yeah. So we took it apart and you can see that the, it's just really in, in, in a bad condition where you can see marks and signs of dust and, and probably dump and all these things that need to be. But this is one of the main causes that is causing a lot of problem. So we will need to clean this motherboard out and um, you know prowl and see what's going on with other components. So yeah, this is this video is like mainly how to take the MacBook Pro motherboard out or how to you know take it apart. So if you have any question, please do ask and. I'm just gonna have to go and take the motherboard and clean this out and then see what's going on with it thank you very much guys and i'll hopefully see you shortly